We are First Squadron and our pass flight school, a Transport Canada listed our pass ground and flight school. Check out our drone services and courses at aurapilot.ca. Our pass flight operation executive course X01. The flight operations executive. The flight operations executive is the person delegated the responsibility of ensuring an R pass operation is compliant with CAR Section 9 Transport Canada regulations. This course will teach the required operational logistics to maintaining a fleet of drone, provide your organization with RPAS operations within TC Canada requirements. This course requires RPAS advanced certification. The duties and responsibilities are many-fold. You must ensure the operations, staff, pilots, visual observers and pick pilots in charge are fit to fly, up to date in training and competent. The Fox Flight Ops Executive is responsible to ensure flights operations are conducted safely and develop procedures, manuals, checklists and emergency plans in CASA of operational failures. In this course you will be tested on the regulations, managing pilots, staff and crews including maintenance and dealing with regulators' expectations like the SFOC Special Operations Certificate. RPAS Flight Operations Management Part 3. Avoidance of Collision. 901.18 No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft in such proximity to another aircraft as to create a risk of collision. Fitness of crew members. 901.191. 1. No person shall act as a crew member of a remotely piloted aircraft system if the person a. is suffering or is likely to suffer from fatigue, or b. is otherwise unfit to perform properly the person's duties. 2. No person shall act as a crew member of a remotely piloted aircraft system within 12 hours after consuming an alcoholic beverage b while under the influence of alcohol or c while using any drug that impairs the person's faculties to the extent that aviation safety or the safety of any person is endangered or likely to be endangered visual observers 901.201 1. No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system if visual observers are used to assist the pilot in the provision of detect and avoid functions unless reliable and timely communication is maintained between the pilot and each visual observer during the operation. 2. A visual observer shall communicate information to the pilot in a timely manner, during the operation, whenever the visual observer detects conflicting air traffic, hazards to aviation safety or hazards to persons on the surface. 3. No visual observer shall perform visual observer duties for more than one remotely piloted aircraft at a time, unless the aircraft are operated in accordance with subsection 901.401, or in accordance with a special flight operations certificate, RPAS issued under section 903.03. 4. No visual observer shall perform visual observer duties while operating a moving vehicle, vessel or aircraft. Compliance with instructions. 901.21 Every crew member of a remotely piloted aircraft system shall, during flight time, comply with the instructions of the pilot. Living Creatures. 901.22 No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft that transports or carries on board a living creature. Flight Operations Procedures 901.23 1. No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system unless the following procedures are established. A. Normal operating procedures, including pre flight, takeoff, launch, approach, landing and recovery procedures, and b. Emergency procedures, including with respect to 1. A control station failure. 2. An equipment failure. 3. A failure of the remotely piloted aircraft. 4. A loss of the command and control link. 5. A flyaway, and
6. Flight termination. 2. If the manufacturer of the remotely piloted aircraft system provides instructions with respect to the topics referred to in paragraphs 1, a, uh, and b, the procedures established under subsection 1 shall reflect those instructions. Opening parenthesis 3. No pilot shall conduct the takeoff or launch of a remotely piloted aircraft unless the procedures referred to in subsection 1 are reviewed before the flight by and are immediately available to each crew member. 4. No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system unless the operation is conducted in accordance with the procedures referred to in subsection 1. Pre-flight information. 901.24 A pilot of a remotely piloted aircraft shall, before commencing a flight, be familiar with the available information that is relevant to the intended flight. Maximum altitude. 901.25 1. Subject to subsection 2. No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft at an altitude greater than a 400 feet, 122 meters. AGL or b. 100 feet, 30 meters, above any building or structure, if the aircraft is being operated at a distance of less than 200 feet, 61 meters, measured horizontally, from the building or structure. 2. A pilot may operate a remotely piloted aircraft at an altitude greater than those set out in subsection 1. If the operation is conducted in accordance with a special flight operation certificate, RPAS issued under section 903.03. Horizontal distance. 901.26 subject to paragraph 901.69, 1, b, or, c. No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft at a distance of less than 100 feet, 30 meters, from another person, measured horizontally and at any altitude, except from a crew member or other person involved in the operation. Flight Operations Serviceability of the Remotely Piloted Aircraft System 901.29 No pilot shall conduct the takeoff or launch of a remotely piloted aircraft, or permit the takeoff or launch of a remotely piloted aircraft to be conducted, unless the pilot ensures that a, the aircraft is serviceable. b. The remotely piloted aircraft system has been maintained in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. c. All mandatory actions have been completed in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions, and d. All equipment required by these regulations or the manufacturer's instructions are installed and serviceable. Availability of remotely piloted aircraft system operating manual. 901.30 No pilot shall conduct the takeoff or launch of a remotely piloted aircraft for which the manufacturer has provided a remotely piloted aircraft system operating manual unless the manual is immediately available to crew members at their duty stations. Manufacturer's Instructions 901.31 No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system unless it is operated in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. Control of remotely piloted aircraft systems. 901.32 No pilot shall operate an autonomous remotely piloted aircraft system or any other remotely piloted aircraft system for which they are unable to take immediate control of the aircraft. Takeoffs, launches, approaches, landings and recovery 901.33 A pilot of a remotely piloted aircraft shall, before takeoff, launch, approach, landing or recovery, a, ensure that there is no likelihood of collision with another aircraft, person or obstacle, and b, ensure that the site set aside for takeoff, launch, landing or recovery as the case may be, is suitable for the intended operation. Minimum weather conditions. 901.34 No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system unless the weather conditions at the time of flight permit a, the operation to be conducted in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions and b. 
the pilot of the system and any visual observer to conduct the entire flight within visual line of sight. Icing. 901.35. 1. No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system when icing conditions are observed, are reported to exist or are likely to be encountered along the route of flight unless the aircraft is equipped with the icing or anti-icing equipment and equipment designed to detect icing. 2. No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system with frost ice or snow adhering to any part of the remotely piloted aircraft. Formation Flight 901.36 No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft in formation with other aircraft except by pre-arrangement between the pilots of the aircraft in respect of the intended flight. We are First Squadron and our past flight school. Check out our drone services and courses at forapilot.ca.